another video. So this video is a little bit different from the mommy vlogger baby type of stuff that I normally do. This video is about how I managed to get 50 subscribers in just one week. If you guys are interested in finding out how I managed to do that, please stay tuned. But first, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below so you guys um, don't miss out on any future videos about my progression and my goals. So how did I manage to get 50 subscribers in just one week? Hmm, that's a good question. But let me just tell you this, from the get-go, um, I wanted to do YouTube a, a while back. But I just, I don't know, I just didn't think I had it in me to, you know, just be recording everything and putting everything together. I didn't know how to do that. And plus, I didn't own an iPhone. And it's so much easier to, you know, edit on an iPhone if you don't have an um, Apple computer or, you know, things like that. But... I started YouTube for the fun and entertainment, and I'm still doing it for the fun and entertainment. But now it's kind of getting into like this competition almost, which is you're competing against your own self, basically. Um, even though there are there's a ton of competition because YouTube is huge, especially in the type of area that you're trying to work with. So with that being said, um, I definitely started off for fun and entertainment and things like that. And I'm still doing it because, hello, um, it's only like a week and a half later, right? But I did see a lot of progression. I did not think that I was gonna get 50 subscribers in just one week. I mean, I told my husband, I'm like, dude, if I only get like five, I'm okay. Like, I don't, I don't care because I'm only doing this for the heck of it, you know, entertainment. So long story short, I started to see that the numbers started going up and up and up and I was like hey this is pretty cool like I thought to myself what am I doing that you know um, is getting me the type of subscribers that I'm getting so fast forward to a week later I'm at like 55 plus subscribers and I'm like huh all right it was 50 now I'm 55 and I think currently right now I'm sitting at like 65 Five, 66 subscribers if I'm not mistaken 67 probably and which is good because I feel like every day I get two to three you know subscribers daily so that that's very good even if you just get one subscriber it's very good so the question is how did I do that well the first thing that I did was be even before like recording a video or like uploading anything what I did was I went on Instagram I took a selfie and I, on the caption, I wrote, hey, I'm thinking of starting my own YouTube channel. Would you guys be interested in the type of content that I'm going to offer in YouTube? And then I listed down the things that I was thinking of doing. Baby and mommy, um, baby products reviews, and like daily vlogs, and etc., etc. So I said, please comment down below to let me know what you think would you be interested in my type of content and would you subscribe to my channel? So I took the step on Instagram. Well, I got a lot of likes on that picture and I got a bunch of comments from family and friends and everyone was being positive about it and everyone said, yeah, you should do it. You should definitely do it. And then I said, okay. So I grabbed that same picture and I shared it on Facebook. So then now I have people on Facebook commenting and, you know, telling me, giving me their points of views and liking the, the picture and telling me, yes, I think you should do it or no, I think you shouldn't. My biggest concern, of course, was my privacy and it still is my privacy, but I've learned how to record without giving too much information. Just the basics, of course. Um, so then I was like, all right. You know what? I took like maybe like a week later that I told my husband after I posted everything, probably like a week later, I was like, you know what? I really want to do this stuff. And my husband's like, you know what, babe? He's like, you should just do it. So I grabbed my stuff. I had him buy me um, a little tripod to just kind of hold my phone. It's one of the cheapest ones. We probably got it at like five below. And yeah, so I started recording. I did my first video, as you guys can see. If you haven't watched it already, I recommend you watching that video. Um, I think it's it's a pretty good video. It's one it's the one video that has a lot of um, views so far. So yeah, I think it, it it went pretty well. 
So with that being said, um, after going from Instagram to Facebook, now my, my followers on Instagram already know, hey, this girl's about to post something on, on YouTube, or at least she's thinking of doing it. Then I took it over to Facebook, and now my Facebook followers are like, okay, this girl's about to post something, or she's thinking of posting something. She's definitely going to let us know. So then, you know, I'm like, all right, well, I did Instagram, I did Facebook, let me do Snapchat. Even though, even though, guys, it's the same people that I have following me on Instagram, following me on Facebook, following me on Snapchat. Some of them probably didn't see the post on Instagram. Some of them probably didn't see the post on Facebook. So they probably got had the chance to see it on Snapchat. And the cool thing about Snapchat is you can send it to specific people that you want to in the snap of a finger. So that's what I did. I posted a video on Snap. I told everybody, I'm like, guys, I'm thinking of doing this and that and blah, 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 blah. And I got a lot of feedback. And people were like, you know what? I, I saw your post on Instagram. I saw your post on Facebook. You should definitely do it. So that gave me a little more oomph. And I was like, okay, you know, let's just get right into it. Recorded my first video and I edited, I probably worked on it for like two or three days. And then I told my husband, I'm like, all right, I think I'm ready. And my husband's like, go for it. Probably that day in the afternoon, I was like, listen, um, I don't know if I should do this. And then he's like, babe, he's like, just do it. He's like, just don't think about anything. Just post that video. So I was like, all right, here goes nothing. I posted the video and quick, quick, my, the people that were already like kind of aware that I was going to do my YouTube channel, like they were already like, all right, she posted it. Let's see what she has to offer. And yeah, so what I did as soon as I posted the video, I, um, you know, like you get to fix your background on, on your page or whatever on your YouTube page. What I did is I took a screenshot of it. I posted it on Instagram, posted it on Facebook, and I posted it on Snapchat. And I said, all right, guys, I got the video up. Please go check it out link is in the bio well first of all i didn't know that i that i could put a link in my own bio to you know have it linked directly so one of my friends was like hey you know a little fyi put the link in the bio because people are trying to look for you and we can't find you duh alicia like no one's gonna find you because nobody knows you yet and youtube doesn't even know you exist yet so yeah long story short i took i took it over to my um social medias and a lot of, you're going to hear this from a lot of YouTubers that, you know, social media definitely helped them out into getting to where they wanted to be. The next thing I did was, all right, now people have seen my video on, you know, whether it's from Instagram, whether it's from Facebook, whether it's from Snapchat. So I'm like, what about my family and friends who don't have social media? How are they going to know? But, you know, still enjoy YouTube videos. So I copied the link. And I just texted everyone, including my mom, who has, like, the cheapest phone in the world. But, you know, she still gets YouTube because my little brother stays on YouTube. So I texted her the link, and she was like, whoa. She was like, look at this. The only thing is that she doesn't have a Gmail account, so she can't subscribe. But with that being said, she is definitely giving me the views. Every time I post a video, I send her the link, and she goes, clicks on it, and she's give, getting me, um, she's watching my videos and I am definitely getting views on my videos so then I was like huh I started thinking I'm like all right well I have a lot of friends and a lot of family who don't have gmail accounts so they're giving me the views but they're not getting subscribed into my channel so I started talking to them I'm like hey guys do you know about you know that you can subscribe to certain channels and your phone will give you a notification of every time that a person puts up a new video and they were like, yeah, 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 we kind of know. Or no, I didn't know. So I'm like, why don't you do a Gmail account? And they were like, you know what? Yeah, I should. So I ended up doing a Gmail account for my mom, which she actually needed one because she was using my original email address to give out to, you know, just whenever they ask her for an email. So now she has her own Gmail account. And yeah, so I probably opened a couple of Gmail accounts for um, a couple of family members here and there. But it works guys like you know you can get 50 plus subs now the last thing that i did and it's something that i just tried probably like a day ago 
I started looking up a lot of videos about how to get 100 subscribers in one week or how to get a thousand subscribers in a month, you know? So the person that I was watching, you know, gave really good, um, really good advice on what to do and, you know, things like that, talking about content, talking about um, your editing, talking about what you're actually bringing out to the table and how you're going to attract people. And one of the things that he mentioned was doing this, exactly what I'm doing, talking about your goals. Definitely, you want people to know where you started and how you got to where you are or where you're going to be, right? Or where you want to be. So this is one of the things that he'd said to do make a video about your progression. So here I am doing a video about my progression. How did I get 50 subscribers? Well, my first 50 subscribers were because I went and I took over my own social media and well, my own social media accounts, of course. Um, and yeah, and that's basically how I got my first 50 subscribers. And then uh, there was another thing that he said, oh, um, I know that a lot of YouTubers are very picky with you know the comments sometimes they're disabled sometimes you know they tell you specifically like i don't want you guys commenting negative stuff on my chat on my videos or you know things like that which hey good thing you're telling them so the other thing that i was hearing was that sub for sub wasn't a good idea because it just didn't work so then i'm like all right well why did it work a couple of we a couple of um, years ago, and why isn't it working now? Because a lot of people would sub, or they would say, "Hey, I just sub to your channel," but then you wouldn't sub back. So you know, it kind of like it was like a, it was like a hit or miss with you know the sub for sub. But then I started going through the comments, and a lot of people in the comment section was saying, "Hey." Um, I'll sub to whoever subs and comments done, you know, like you'll get a sub and a couple of views on your channel or whatever. So then, you know, I looked over at my husband and he goes, just comment that. He's like, everyone's already doing it. Why don't you do it? So that's exactly what I did. I wrote on the comment. Hello. I'm like, you know, I'll sub back to whoever I'll sub to whoever subs me first and comments done. And yeah. And within like, an hour of doing that I think I had like five people who subscribed and who had commented on that specific comment done so that basically told me that that person already subbed to my channel and yes I know that they subbed to my channel because my sub numbers were going up and now I had to do my part I had to sub back to their channel so yeah there you have it guys this is exactly what I did to get 50 plus subscribers in just one week and it works guys if you really take your time and effort and you know people are definitely seeing what you're bringing then you guys are gonna go far so i wish you luck and if you guys are interested in um more videos and about my progression please stay tuned please subscribe to my channel and i am definitely letting you guys know this right off the bat if you guys want to comment on this video, um, what I did, you know, sub for sub or I'll subscribe. If you subscribe, comment done, you know, things like that, go for it. My video is open to do that um, only because it helped me and I am willing to help you um, or any other small YouTubers trying to grow. And yeah, I think that's it. That's all I have for you guys. So if you like this video, please like, comment and subscribe um definitely subscribe to my channel because like i said we're all growing together here so i will see you guys next time